Doctors tell us about the health risk of too much salt in our diet, but how does this equate to bathing in salt concentrated swimming pool water? Well, in 2011, the American Heart Association issued a sweeping call for salt restriction in our diets, limiting intake of sodium to less than 1,500 milligrams a day, which translates to approximately 3750 milligrams of sodium chloride. Very recent papers published in the highly respected journal Nature delivered the news that salt intake may be associated with autoimmune diseases through a mechanism that turns certain immune cells into traitors. Water quality is evaluated by determining the values of its chemistry's constituents. This is referred to and measured as total dissolved solids or TDS. A swimming pool's TDS value is usually measured by assessing the electroconductivity of the pool water. A pool service company can test its customer's pool water by using a handheld digital electrode tester. The human body contains about 10 trillion cells, each of them a watery bag of chemical reactions, salts, proteins, and genetic material surrounded by an oily layer called the cell membrane. The membrane forms a physical barrier to retain the cell components and also allows the environment inside a cell to be tightly regulated so that the conditions are ideal for cell metabolism. But the presence of the membrane also means that in order to move chemicals in and out of the cell, specialized pores are needed. What will happen to human skin cells when submerged in salt water? To achieve equilibrium, water moves out of the human cell into the salt water. That's because the water from the cell would try and balance out the salute solvent balance in the water. This process is called reverse osmosis, associated with diffusion, and the cells may die as a result. Besides these potential health risk issues, saltwater pools reduce the longevity of anything made of concrete. This would include plastering surfaces, concrete decking, tile grouting, and other alkaline-based compounds. Electrolytic cells or salt cells have a cathode and an anode. In the process of exchanging the salt, it is heated until it melts and the Na plus ions flow towards the negative electrode and the Ci ions flow toward the positive electrode. The chlorine generator, also known as a salt cell, uses electrolysis in the presence of dissolved salt to produce hypochlorous acid and sodium hypochlorite. Electrolysis in salt water pools produces the effects of decomposition to given hydrogen and oxygen gases due to the passage of an electrical current. In producing hypochlorous acid and sodium hypochlorite, the water's pH will rise upward into the alkaline range of 8 plus. Besides the aggressive nature of alkaline water in proximity to concrete surfaces, another natural occurrence of salt saturated water is its corrosive nature. Virtually anything made of metal will be affected over time as the water attempts to pull the metal into its solution. Saltwater pools are a very costly technology that has been divisively promoted as an alternative solution to chlorination. Yet scientific research has shown that since saltwater pools still use chlorination sanitation, they generate the same unhealthy disinfection byproducts that are present in traditional pools. 